is F1 just racing? Nope, it's basically the fastest battery lab on the planet. These days, F1 cars don't just run on an internal combustion engine. They've got a tiny 1.6 liters turbo gas engine, plus a battery that stores electricity and an electric motor, pretty much a hybrid setup. The engine throws down explosive power. The battery, it jumps in for instant acceleration and keeps the power flowing. Now, picture this. You charge your phone once or twice a day. And F1 battery? It rips through dozens of full charge and discharge cycles in just one lap. Over about 190 miles, the engine cranks up to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, while the battery takes on ultra-fast charging and discharging, extreme heat, and non-stop vibration. And nope, there's no swapping batteries mid-race. They're built from day one to handle that chaos. Back in 2009, F1 rolled out KERS, short for Kinetic Energy Recovery System, built on regenerative braking. It stored braking electricity and fired back 60 kilowatts, about 80 HP, for seven seconds. That idea? It became the foundation for regenerative braking in everyday EVs. Later, KERS leveled up into ERS, the energy recovery system, with two sidekicks on board, MGUK, a motor generator that turns kinetic energy into electricity when braking, and MGUH, a generator that grabs hot exhaust gases from the turbo and turns them into electricity. MGUK recovers two megajoules per lap and releases four megajoules, delivering up to 160 HP on the spot. MGUH, it saves electricity that would have just gone to waste as heat. But here's the big twist. Starting in 2026, everything changes. MGUH is gone. MGUK output nearly triples to 350 kilowatts over 470 HP. And the per lap recovery limit? It jumps to nine megajoules. Add in an overtake mode button and 100% sustainable fuel. And yeah, the future looks wild. So F1 isn't just a show. It's where battery durability, thermal management, and electricity control get pushed to the edge and those winds flow straight into EVs. F1 is speed on stage, but it's also a rolling lab for future energy. Now you know what real battery testing looks like. Want more fast-paced battery science, F1 style? Tap subscribe and stay tuned.